welcome to MM Design or mm, Design. My name is Maria and if you're here for the first time, this channel is all about fashion, all about using your closet to its fullest and maybe being a little bit more sustainable when it comes to fashion. I do a bunch of trend videos. If you're curious to see them, they'll be listed down in the description box below. But today I am actually trying out the trends that I have noticed and trying to recreate some of the runway looks. And this time it's going to be Versace. Yes, Versace show was so beautiful, so deeply infused with color there was so much color on the runways i loved it so bright so gorgeous so many interesting ways of styling things together from vogue about the show versace's show was a bright shiny revival of versace many hits aimed straight at the hearts of the tiktok generation young people for whom dua lipa nas are household names but who may be less familiar with the supermodels who helped propel the brand to fame 30 years ago naomi campbell though was in the house to help show the new gen models how it's done duo opened the show in the cutout jacket and slashed skirt dicked out in multicolor versions of the house famous safety pins and closed it in the even more iconic chainmail dipped hot pink for the occasion. In between, Versace kept things young and playful, showing basketball silks and pajamas set in the archival Medusa print and the new La Greca print and using the patterns for accents and handkerchief top here, a bikini top there, and as a patchwork on baggy faded blue jeans. For the first time buyer, there were logo tees. The color palette was pure pop. A long run of Miami neons was bookended by sections of black with brief sage into colligate red that featured what might be Versace's first Versity Letterman's jacket. Yes, there was lots of color, there was lots of stars on the runway, and it was pretty amazing. I liked it a lot. So let's dive right in and see what outfits I tried it to recreate. So the first outfit I went for was this black dress with white stripes and kind of, it does did have kind of little holes on the sleeves and it was off shoulder with a slit on the side. There was like white shoes of some sort, kind of a cloggy feel to them, maybe more a little bit of a loafer on a platform and a bright green bag. So I remember that I have this black dress with the white stripes that I never wear. I like only keep it to go eventually to church in, but it's kind of a little bit of a wool, so it's a little itchy on the skin. And yeah, I almost gave up on it and here it is. I paired it with a white pair of thong style heel that are Gucci in white and a bright pink purse. This is the brightest bag I own, so it's gonna make a lot of appearances in this video. I decided to go for the same makeup and hair just to have this vibe, just to carry on the feeling of the show. The eyes were very bright. I used green and blue and yellow in my eyes, which is very not like my usual look which is more like this. This is how I usually do, like maybe very subtle, a statement lip, or maybe no statement lip at all because we're still wearing masks in Canada. And my hair is a little bit of a sleek back at the top and the rest of it is down. All right, I quite like this outfit. Would I wear it? Maybe not. Maybe if, I, if it was more fitted to my figure, maybe if I had maybe like a corset on top of that just to have some kind of a shape. But right now I'm feeling like a bag of potatoes and nobody wants to feel like a bag of potatoes. So yes, all right, let's move on to the next one. The next outfit 
from the runways was this suit with more of a i don't want to say bell bottom but there were a little bit of a bell, bell bottom like more modernized version of it in black oversized blazer and a little bit of a bralette underneath that blazer with a larger bag having a few pops of color in there via those safety pins and little buttons i just decided to go for all black i don't have that fancy color buttons so here we go i put on my zara pants with the, those slits i know those were super popular everybody is wearing them right now i feel like they gave me enough of a little flare at the bottom of the pants to get away with it i'm still wearing the same shoes and i've just have a little bralette underneath my oversized blazer which i got from my husband's closet don't tell him that and i just have a bigger black bag i feel like this outfit is very cool unfortunately i would not be able to wear this to work because bras are not something that is in the manual that you can actually wear but if i had like maybe a fashion job i would totally wear this i have a little lion pendant that reminded me a lot of a medusa head so i'm kind of living my best fantasy trying to fake it until i make it kind of a situation here so i quit like this outfit is it like groundbreaking no it's not is it something that i see myself wearing definitely yes maybe instead of the bralette i would put on kind of a a body maybe moving on to the next outfit we've seen a lot of scarves being used as tops or even like dresses or skirts so this time here we have one of those a uh, belt bottom pants again very thick platform heels and a scarf as the top so here is what i come up with um yeah i took a scarf just wrapped it around it tied in the back kept my pants the same exchange the heels though so i once again you see my bright bright pink purse that is very in that hobo shape and these heels are also zara very chunky heel so i was trying to go for the chunky instead of a platform i went for a chunky heel instead i really like this outfit would i wear it maybe i would to like a party if they ever come back maybe to a club if i ever go but yeah i quite like this outfit maybe if there was a little bit more pink in the scarf i would enjoy it more but and nevertheless pretty cool if you're enjoying this content so far and you would like to support my channel all you need to do is hit that like button if you're not already subscribe and maybe leave me a little nice comment down below thank you the next outfit is this scarf type mini skirt with a bralette with kind of that print in there too hooped earrings something around the neck oversized blazer and pink shoes you guys of course i'm gonna wear my pink shoes you already have seen them and you're gonna see much more of them too because i don't have too many different pairs of bright shoes i decided to once again just have my bralette wear that scarf that i wore as a top as a skirt but it was a little bit too short for me if i would wear this in real life i would probably wear like a short shorts and then have that over top blazer love it gives me more coverage I have my hooked earrings also wearing my little leo lion head and instead of the pink bag i decided to go for a yellow one just to bring some more color into this scenario i quite like this outfit once again i would wear it to a club if i would ever go and if i would ever like gather enough courage to go outside in such a short skirt but yes all right let's move on to the next one we see once again we have a scarf top situation a mini skirt in black once again very thick platform shoes and white sunglasses and a white little bag so for mine i just w got two of my scarves that kind of went well together and i tried to tie it up as best as i could like it was on the runways 
I just tied it around my necklace. This was the most uncomfortable thing I have ever tried to wear because I felt like I was being choked from the front and from the back because everything is held by the chain on my neck. I have the white sunglasses and I decided to have the little bit of white in my purse as well. Kept the same pink shoes just because, as I said, I don't really have much of a choice. So these are felt like the best ones for the outfit because I have some pink in the scarf on the top and they are the more chunkier one and they're pretty bright and yeah that's pretty much all that I could say about it once again having my hooped earrings and yeah I feeling it it's pretty cool I would go maybe like on a lunch with girls I would rethink of how to assemble it though just so I could breathe properly and I would have less volume in my waistline which is not the best for me. Anyways, so the next outfit that I tried to go for was this combination of a hat with a scarf. I really wanted to try that out and we see this kind of a floral print on the dress and the color continues onto the scarf itself and we have a nice bright bag and green and a white shoe. So this inspired me to put this together. I haven't worn this dress in maybe three years. This was given to me just like a hand-me-down and I kind of just wore it to go to church honestly. So I decided to wear it out today because it's floral right it's kind of a similar length and i'm wearing a hat with the scarf and i love it i decided to instead of the white shoes decided to go for the pink one instead and the matching pink bag just because there was a lot of pink flowers on the dress love it so so much don't really know where i would wear it but this is so cool like is it okay to wear a baseball hat in church? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. <laughs> this is such a fun outfit. I was very excited to try it out. And yeah, I feel like it was a success in my books. Maybe I would just go for a different makeup. I don't feel like it's working too well with my complexion. But anyways, moving on to the next look. So we see once again more of a latex scarf which was another thing that i wanted to try so bad and i actually went out to a fabric store and bought one of those faux kind of wet leather materials and made myself like a little corset like under boob thing and a a scarf on the model we see a dress in that floral print sleeveless we have more of a chunkier loafer with a huge platform and more of a basket. I didn't really have a dress like that so I decided to go for this kind of a lavender color and kept the same pink shoes just because they're the chunkiest summer-esque ones that I own. I decided to go for a black purse just to tie in that black faux latex scarf and I don't know. It's not my favorite outfit. I did try it out, but it's okay. I'm gonna wear this headscarf with something else and I'm totally okay with it. You guys, don't be discouraged if you try something out and it just doesn't work. It's okay. You know that it didn't work. You can move on just as fine or take lessons from it. Why didn't it work? Maybe there's an odd color combination or maybe it's just not for your body type and that's completely fine. All right, the next one is such a color pop. There was orange and this kind of bluish green blazer with a bright orange latex scarf, wider leg pant with those paneling. I, I read a little bit about that. Bright sunglasses, bright bag. The color combination is interesting complementary colors that are very intense when they're put together and we have a white shoe so I just took inspiration from it basically I have this blue blazer I don't really have anything else as a bright of a t-shirt so I just put on my white t-shirt with some bright citrus on there kind of having that as the color contrasts have my really wide leg jean and I, instead of a bright head scarf i just decided to go for my black one wearing my white gucci slip-on shoes 
and I decided to pair it with a kind of a more of a yellow bucket bag. It's maybe a little bit on a mustardy side. I love it. Like I'm definitely wearing this somewhere. I feel like that's such a cool spring look uh, that's very effortless and yeah. Okay, let's move on to something else. All right, so the next look that we're trying out is this oversized blazer with satin sleeves in the print of the shirt or the dress underneath. We have the same print on the scarf. Once again, we have the hat, scarf combo, really large toad bag, and a lighter shoe. So, of course, I don't have a blazer with the same print on the sleeves. As... Anyway, so I wore a vest over a very short dress with a long sleeve, and I love it. When I was wearing it, I felt like, like so cool, so cool. <laughs> wearing the same shoes. And once again, I paired the scarf with a hat. Love it. Don't know where I would wear it at all. Decided to have that yellow basket bag just because there's lots of yellow flowers on the dress to kind of tie it all together. I really like it. I'm not really used to showing a lot of leg, so maybe I'm not super confident now looking at it back, but when I was wearing it, I felt so, so cool. Where I would wear this, maybe going shopping. If I had a convertible car, I would drive like this there but i don't um so yeah <laughs> let's move on to our next outfit we had a lot of color blocking we have this bright orange dress with cutouts we have these very neon leggings or tights and we have a bright yellow bag and bright reddish shoes i thought oh i have lots of tights i might as well like find some bright version of tights so yeah anyways so this is how it turned out i have these burgundy tights unfortunately as i was like putting this outfit on i snagged them on a zipper and yeah they're ruined now but you know what such is life i paired it with a foam shoulder shirt i made those shorts a few like 10 years ago almost maybe seven like seven years ago i made these shorts and i don't know they're too they're too tight <laughs> right now and back then too uh, but that was the style you know right now it's more voluminous but anyways i did, decided to go for that and it ended up being a little bit more monochromatic than really intense colors but that's okay i have my pink shoes and the pink bag and i'm not the biggest fan of this outfit but that's okay as i said just let it go and move on. It's okay that it didn't work out. I know not to wear it together ever again. Yes. And our last outfit. We've seen blazer dresses a little bit while ago, maybe a few seasons back, and we see them now too. So Versace had this blazer dress, very beautiful. Of course, there was their famous print on it as a detail, black shoes, and a little tiny bag. I have this fantastic dress that is kind of half a blazer, and I feel like this is the sexiest dress that I own. I love it so much. It has like gold buttons. The only thing that I gained some weight, yes and I could not zip it up all the way which made me kind of tuck in the corners where they would meet into the dress which made it even more sexier so I don't mind that love this dress wore just a simple black heel with it with a chunkier heel a little black bag and that's all like love it so much the only reason I'm thinking about losing weight again is to fit into that dress again <laughs> and be a little bit co more comfortable all right you guys here we go we've reached the end I'm so looking forward to reading down in the comments below what was your favorite outfit and if you are guessing if you've seen these videos before right now I'm already wearing something from the next one if you want to go and take a wild guess of what show I'm trying to recreate next, please do so. And if you're not already subscribed, maybe do so too. And maybe like this video. There's lots of maybes. No maybes, just do it. <laughs> oh, just kidding. But really, do it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this to the end. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have the best rest of your day, no matter what's going on around the world. Uh, and yeah, stay classy. Bye.